Whether it's a power outage or your freezer just quit working, you need to know how to keep your breast milk frozen for as long as possible, and then how to tell if it's safe to use or refreeze. Are you ready? Let's go. Be confident and successful in your breastfeeding journey. <laughs> You've worked really hard to pump and store your breast milk and we want to keep it as safe as possible. It's very precious. Now you may have just your freezer that's attached to your refrigerator and that's great or you may have a deep freeze and sometimes on a deep freezer we don't know that it, it went out. So there are thermostats that you can buy that are wireless that go on the side of your freezer so that you don't have to be opening the door all the time and you can see the temperature. They even have an alarm on them. So if your freezer does get warm, an alarm will set letting you know that. And if in the case of a power outage, you'll be tempted to want to open it and see how it is. Don't keep the door closed but that will help you to know how warm your freezer is getting if it's getting too warm. So here's the steps to keep your milk as cold as possible. Always store your milk in the back or bottom of your freezer. So in an upright freezer, you're always going to store it in the far back. And in a chest freezer that opens up on top, always store in the very bottom. Those are the coldest places to store your breast milk if you have a power outage or not. If your freezer's power goes out, a full freezer will stay cold twice as long as a half full freezer. So fill your freezer's space up. You can do that by filling water jugs and putting those in to freeze just to fill up that extra space. The best temperature for your freezer is zero degrees Fahrenheit, but if you know that there's a power outage coming, turn it down a little bit if you can. So negative three degrees is going to keep it a little cooler for a little longer. If your thawed milk still has a little bit of ice crystals in it, just a little bit slushy, it is safe to refreeze it. But if it's completely thawed, it needs to be discarded. If this video has been helpful so far, please give me a quick thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Most moms do not need a huge freezer stash for going back to work. It can cause a mom to end her breastfeeding journey sooner than she had planned. A freezer stash should be for emergency use only for most moms. I have a video called why you should not build a freezer stash and that's below in the description for you to check out. Now if you are a mom who should be building a freezer stash and you're going to purchase a freezer, I prefer a chest freezer over a stand-up freezer. It's just more efficient and it can stay colder. So if you open your big stand-up freezer, cold air is heavy. So you open the door and the cold air goes down and out and you lose a lot of that cold air. On a chest freezer, if you open up the top and the cold air drops, it's just dropping down in the freezer. So if you're going to be purchasing, I prefer the chest freezer. You can find a small one online, brand new, for usually under $200. You might look in your local area and see if you can find a used one for even a better deal. Just keep in mind how economical breastfeeding is. You can buy a new freezer for less than you would spend about two months worth of buying formula. I hope this video has helped you, Mommy, and I hope that your freezer stays cold if you're storing your breast milk. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to get back to you just as soon as possible. Thanks a lot, Mommy. You got this.